G'day ladies and gents, welcome to X Recite. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me. I've been talking about this video for a while and finally got around to it. Uh, this is not a sponsored video and so getting that out of the way. This is one of the art supply stores that always sucks me in and I find it hard to leave without a purchase. Um, this store is Soft Pastels Australia, which has one of the biggest range of soft pastels in Australia. Uh, they also stock a few other art supplies, so I guess you can call it a boutique art store. Okay, let's go window shopping and I'll show you some of the art goodies that they have in their shop. Okay, uh, these are the uh, Brunzale pastel pencils and I would say that these are one of my favourites. I mean, oh gosh one of I'm gonna say one of my favorites so but this is just a wonderful pastel pencil so if you're thinking about purchasing those I think that they're a fantastic uh, pencil to to play around with and to use okay so now we're going to the Conti the Conti pastel pencils they're okay I don't mind them I think that they've got their place but you see this is probably the way I use the pastel pencils but again it is um, a very good artist quality pastel pencil and you'll see me use them from time to time as well so okay and here we go yep the Carbothello uh, Stabilo uh, pastel pencils again um, I love those so much and I'll always be and I do use those so Yes, loved them a lot. And so here we've got some uh, soft pastels. Ah, yes, the Giralt pastels, soft pastels. I've, I've got a few of those. Uh, I know that I've got a few friends who use these and love them a lot, uh, but they're lovely to use. And here's just a bit of a close up as to, yeah, very nice, beautiful colors, beautiful colors. And that's how they're packaged so you'll find them in a box like that um, and now we come to ah yes blue earth pastels they are so soft so so soft that they do crumble in your hands but they're just beautiful very rich colors um, I believe that they're an American uh, brand of uh, soft pastels yes trying to decide which one should I touch oh yes and you should see like the you know they just leave <laughs> pigment on my fingers oh, what have we got here Schmink, uh, Schmincke uh, soft pastels I have got uh, quite a lot of those they are just gorgeous love using look at all those beautiful colors they're just gorgeous yes and just pulling one out to see yep there you go and it's really good because you can see uh, all the information on uh, on that on the wrapping there um, German just fantastic quality what have we got here there's the the packaging uh, yes these are Holbein Holbein now there um, I would be using those for you know more detailed areas they're a bit of a on the harder side still a soft pastel but more on the harder side uh, they're Japanese I have got quite a few of those they remind me of the the new pastels from uh, Prismacolor and here we got yeah, here we've got the Sennelier. Now they have got, I believe, 525 different colors. I think they're one of the biggest range of soft pastels. I mean, look at all that. <laughs> That's just amazing. Again, artist quality. Uh, these are French. Oh, I'm going back again. What's going on there? Oh, oh, I f oh, here we go. Sorry, I forgot to show you the Unison um, pastels. Again, a very beautiful pastel. Oh, just gorgeous. They got wonderful colors, but yeah. 
it's very hard to decide which one would be my favorite I just think it depends on the artists and how they work but I think if you were getting any one of these you would not be sorry at all it's just the way that you work that you would work each artist works differently these are terry now i'm not gonna i bet you i'm not gonna pronounce this correctly but i'm gonna try is it ludwig or lud <laughs> ludwig ludwig let's go ludwig hey <laughs> i'll go with that um a us uh pastel very very nice i don't have these ones there you go i opened that package up so you could see what they look like and that's just one of the sets See, there are so many pastels to buy. I mean, gosh, how would you? Uh, and these are Art Spectrum soft pastels. This is an Australian brand. Uh, very nice pastel as well. I have got quite a few of these. have got a lovely range there this is their packaging and this is their ultra soft I have got a few of these um, very very nice as well don't they look all nice they're all nice and neat in their little in their little section but here we go yeah it's very nice one of my favorite colors believe it or not <laughs> and what have we got here i think these are rembrandt yes they are rembrandt uh, also a lovely pastel i've got um, these as well there's the packaging different sets And here we go, we've got uh, Pan Pastels. Also uh, considered a soft, soft pastel, like, you know, they're a hard and soft, so yeah. Of course, these are a different type of a pastel where you can mix and make new colors. So this is the one of the uh, major features that this particular pastel has. Uh, you need soft applicators and I use brushes um, but I, I use anything and there's the packaging with the different sets and of course now we jump to the the boutique part of it where there are different inks so and these ones are yes Sennelier inks look at them all aren't they lovely you can just look at them you can just sit there and look at them all day and some more inks that would be Dale Rowney ones and here we've got the oil pastels by Sennelier I do have um all of the set for this one oh they're just they're just like butter they just just gorgeous apologies for the jaggy jaggedy filming but uh yeah i'm trying to do this all one-handed um, oh, and there's the new pastel by Prismacolor. And above that, we've got the Conti uh, pastels, which are similar to the Holbein. Also, for that's a soft pastel, hard pastel um, for detail work. I do have some of those. There's the new pastels. Oh, and here we've got um, some oils by oh yeah Langridge 
Um, these are oils. And then, oh, this is Art Spectrum's different mediums there. I have got a few of these oils. Wonderful, wonderful colors. And this is the Schmincke ones. So they've got two brands, uh, Schmincke and the Langridge. Um, and of course, Schmincke, I mean, they make oils, acrylics, soft pastels, watercolors, uh, such a huge range of art supplies. Oh, and we're up to the papers. Look at this pastel mat. Yes. They're all the different ranges, the small ones, the, yep. And they're all the different pads and the colors that they have. I usually use the dark ones for most of my work. Um, I, th I think it all depends on the it all depends on the the subject but I've an anthracite dark green dark blue anthracite are probably the colors that I use the most I've got the white ones so I could use um, for colored pencil and here we've got color fix so there's a huge range of uh, pastel papers here we go and oh yes the Hannah Mueller or Hannah I hope I'm saying these correctly. The Sennelier pads. There. Cancer Mutant touch. There you go. There's the Cancer, the pastel card. Down there. Oop, there it is. Yep. Okay. Oh, the Velua. Yes. I'm not fussed I mean it's nice it's a nice paper but I suppose I have to change my techniques when using that back again making sure that you've seen it all and here we have the Ingress uh, pastel papers by Canson oh there we go Canson Mutant neutral tones some drawing papers or sketching papers oh yes by Claire Fontaine my favorite pastel paper so they make all sorts of paper and this is uh, a whole range of pastel papers here we got oh yes here we have a drawing paper making sure I put it back there we go There are so many papers that this company makes, so it all depends what kind of art you like to produce. So um, now the price tags that you see, these are Australian dollars. So in your country, it would be different. Um, again, all of these that you're looking at, they're uh, drawing papers by uh, Claire Fontaine. I was using just one hand, so so I could turn, uh, so I could use my other hand to turn the the pa um, sorry the pads around. So you'll have to excuse the filming. Oh, and here we've got some more pastel uh, paper, the UART paper. Uh, this one is the dark one, or and it sort of like looks like the anthracite, the color, but. Um, Again, it's the kind of projects that you like to... Oh, look, I'm fixing it to make sure that... <laughs> oh, yes. And see, that's the 600 grit. There's... What's that one? Yep. Okay. 400 grit. There you go. Uh, 
Uh, I oh yes, this is the sand colour. What grit is that? Let me see. Oh, look, I'm fixing it. These are the different sizes. It's that one 500 grit, which would be a much coarser uh, paper. The greater the number, the finer the tooth, the smaller the number, the, the um, more coarse it is. So. Okay, so that's the palette. Oh, here we go. This is the uh, okay, uh, the acrylics for uh, Schmincke. Or acryl, shall we say. And this is the acrylic paint. Again, very highly pigmented and Don't they look lovely just all with all those colors and here we have the airbrushing uh, inks this is golden the high flow which i've played around with The, the fabulous part about these particular acrylics here and with the other brands is that they give you all the information on the packaging, which is wonderful. And these are all the grounds and the, the gessos and, and the different mediums that you can use. Oh, now we're into the watercolors. The Schmincke watercolors. And here we have the Windsor and Newton uh, watercolors in the tubes. Uh, also uh, a wonderful uh, watercolor. Here is Holbein, which I've got a few of those as well uh, in the tubes. Very, very nice. They're from Japan rich colors they are and Daniel Smith and like I said you'll see price tags on these uh, of course these are Australian dollars so they would be of course different uh, value in your country so but what a lovely range of colors they are Okay, and this is the, the pans by Sennelier. Uh, of course, they've got a different binder. Uh, well, they've got honey in their binder. And, and of course, they were the... Uh, and here we got the tubes. Beautiful, beautiful colours. More translucent, and they've got honey in the, um, in the binder. Yeah. Gouache by Sennelier which I believe they're relatively new. Um, and 
And here we have Core, which is by Golden, a US uh, watercolor. Again, they have an unusual binder as well in them. All oh, these lovely colors. How can you go into this shop and not come out with anything? And of course, here we have the papers by, uh, these are the watercolor papers by Claire Fontaine. Now you would have seen me sometimes uh, during my live streams, I would have, if I've gone shopping, I show you what I've purchased. Uh, each of those different colors represents a different type of a surface, uh, rough, uh, cold press, there's rough cold press. Um, and there's one where I use, which I've used for a uh, sorry, colored pencil. I think we might be coming up to this is the one here. Yes, that the purple one there. I, only, I can only remember them by the colors. Wonderful for colored pencil. And these watercolor papers are by Magnani. Beautiful, beautiful papers too. I think I've got a fetish because I, I, every time I go in there, like I said, I always come out with one of these. And I'm, it's shameful to say that I think I've got most of these. Because <laughs> um, I love to try them. Some people buy shoes, I buy art supplies. <laughs> And here we've got more watercolor paper. Lovely. Have tried those. These particular uh, watercolor papers, those ones there, are, I believe student quality. Oh, here we have Holbein uh, watercolor paper. So this is just a summary of the art supplies that uh, this lovely shop has and where I usually end up um, spending a lot of money. But um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hopefully this has been a little bit helpful. Um, thank you all and bye for now.